Hey VC, welcome back. This is Mike. <laughs> this is Hubtoons. I am Mike. Um, gonna do uh, an episode of Get Off My Turntable. And what that is, is basically, um, I usually pull like five records that I've been playing like over and over and over for a couple of weeks and uh, just show you what they are and what I think. And this is going to be a special episode. It's going to be Record Store Day Review because I uh, have now listened to everything that I bought uh, over and over and over, and uh, I got a few thoughts, and um, yeah, a few thoughts and a few comments, and I want to share it with you. Um, I think, just overview, I think that Record Store 2022 was one of my all-time favorites. Uh, the items that I got are wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Um, some blind buys that blow me away. Um, the two items that I was really going for are, one of them is just solid and the other one really surprised me. And uh, then I had a surprise at the end of uh, at the end of the day when I was um, checking out at the register. So um, let's just get right to it. Um, I'll start with this. Uh, this was The Doors, the uh, L.A. Woman outtakes and demos and stuff like that. Um, I wasn't going to get this because I'm not a big outtakes and demos person. Uh, I, I like them. If it's an album I really love, which this is my favorite Doors record, uh, I'll usually buy it. You know, I bought the All Things Must Pass, but I didn't need the, you know, I just got the eight, the eight um, disc set. I don't need 32 records of any outtakes ever um but i did pick this up it was very reasonably priced i think it was like 76 dollars or 78 dollars they are numbered i got five thousand something 5400 whatever that numbers mean nothing to me um so this is basically outtakes and demos from the recording sessions of la woman uh, most of you probably have heard about this it it I wasn't, I went into it with just thinking, eh, whatever, it's going to be okay. Uh, but because I love the album, I was going to get it. Uh, this blew me away. This is really, really good. It, they don't feel like outtakes or demos. Um, it just has this feel of the band jamming uh, for, for uh, four records. That's all it really is. Uh, I, you don't get the impression that these are songs being worked on. They're just different and they're, they're, you know, I guess alternate takes, but it just, the whole thing just feels like one big jam session in the studio live. It's really, really good. And, um, yeah, I am thrilled I picked this up. Absolutely thrilled. I, um, every year the Grateful Dead do a release. This is the new one. Uh, this is, uh, London, 72, from that great 72 tour. Last year, I think they did France from the 72 tour. Uh, great artwork. Uh, the sound is really, really solid on these. Um, I'll show you. Uh, you got a, I got the hype sticker. You got a little, another little sticker. There's a little blurb kind of thing um, about the tour and the show. Uh, each record has its own artwork and they're on stunning black vinyl but pretty cool inner uh, label there uh, I'll show you them all they're pretty cool and you know what I won't show you them all there's a green one there's a blue one there's a purple one you get the drift um, once again the Grateful Dead have gone above and beyond uh, for the price I don't you can't beat it I think this was 120 something like that really very reasonable and it sounds great and that the quality is impeccable so yeah another great record store day release by the grateful dead uh next up i bought this uh, i left it in the shrink because i wanted to read the um read you the um pipe sticker this is golden smog they are a, a kind of a super group uh, members of uh, the Jayhawks, I think Soul Asylum. At one point, Jeff Tweedy from Wilco was in there. Um, this was limited to uh, 5,500. It's an EP. They released this quite a while ago. This is before Jeff Tweedy joined. 
uh, it's just covers. Um, Easy to be hard, Shooting Star, Backstreet Girl, which is fantastic, and Cowboy Song, which is also really, really good. I forget what year this came out, but I had this on CD many, many years ago, and I'm thrilled to have this on on uh, vinyl. It sounds good. It's not audiophile or anything, but it sounds good. It's cool to have. Uh, this was a blind buy. <laughs> this is um, this is a great one. This is. Um, this is Rendezvous with the Sun, and this is um, Howard Wales, who is a keyboardist out of San Francisco. He worked a lot with Jerry Garcia. He was um, he teamed up with Jerry Garcia on the Hooter Roll album, which is uh, another one of my favorites. Uh, this is what beautiful artwork. This is a beautiful photo. I'm just looking in the camera. That looks really cool. Uh, really really cool record i wasn't i had never heard it i wasn't really sure what it was going to sound like the opening track is very soulful has a real soul funk sound to it and i, I put that on i was like wow this is not what i thought it was going to be and then the second song kicks into more of the i don't want to say spacey but more more a little more out, not, not even out there. It's just really good, solid, instrumental. I guess you'd call it jazz, maybe a little fusion. Excellent, excellent record. I, I highly recommend this. This is really, really good. Howard Wales, Rendezvous with the Sun. Yeah, this is excellent. It's on Coastal Records. This is from 1976, I believe. And the sound is great. I, don't, I think it's been remastered and everything. It's really, really cool record. I was thrilled to be able to pick this up. Uh, next one, uh, this is, um, I wasn't gonna, I was kind of laying off the jazz this year, because I always, I always buy, like, the Bill Evans stuff, and, you know, I don't know, I, I get enough jazz throughout the whole year, I didn't think I needed any more piano trios that, I, I, I like piano trios, but I don't listen to them all that much, and I got plenty of them in the collection, so I, I kind of laid off the jazz this year, but then Rob, the Waxed, suggested this record and uh roy ayers is called weird vibes and this is a fantastic record he was 100 percent right it is on red vinyl it sounds really good this is a great record a good combination of vibraphone and sax and everything else excellent excellent choice i'm really glad i picked this up um this is a series that I always pick up. This is um, this is uh, Jazz Dispensary. They have done four, three or four of these. Uh, they do one every year for Record Store Day, and I um, I love them. I absolutely love it. Uh, it's on red vinyl. Usually their vinyl is a little more splashy, but this year it's just plain red. Uh, the artwork is always spectacular. Um, really cool artwork um, and it's got this die cut cover this one has a die cut cover they don't all have die cut covers most of them just have really psychedelic artwork um, this is just funk really good funky d jazz you know very 70s stuff it's excellent really really cool um, highly recommend that too. If you guys don't have that series, look look them up. There, there. You can probably find. Sorry, you can probably find most of that series um, around. So, um, and they're pretty cheap. I think twenty twenty one dollars. Jesus. Uh, next up is where are you now, Jay Bennett? Jay Bennett was uh, one of the members of Wilco. He. He had a, a a little bit of a troubled life. He was the genius behind the album uh, Yankee Hotel Foxtrot and Summer Teeth. Uh, well, goes probably their two best records. Uh, he left the band shortly after um, Yankee Hotel Foxtrot was finished. This is actually a kind of a companion piece. Um, I guess it's a soundtrack. It's, no, it's not really a soundtrack, but it's kind of a companion piece to the documentary that is now out on, I believe it's on Apple TV, uh, called Where Are You Now? Uh, Jay Bennett. And I watched it the other night, and it's very, very interesting. A very talented man um, who we lost way, way too young. This is um, basically his two 
two solo albums, Kicking at the Perfumed Air and Whatever Happened, I apologize. Um, acoustic, a lot of it, um, a little country tinge, really interesting stuff. Um, he, he, lyrically, he, he is very, I, I would say, very similar to like an Elliott Smith. Um, very, uh, his lyrics are just, I'm sorry. <laughs> I am getting so many messages and it's distracting the hell out of me. Can you tell? Um, it, lyrically, he is just a brilliant, brilliant songwriter and um, very underappreciated and um, really a, a tragic loss. Uh, I would check out a couple of his records. He also has one, um, 3 a.m. at the Palace. Uh, that's with uh, a guy named Edward Birch. And um, that's a really good record. Uh, so he... This was nice to pick up. I was really glad to really glad to get this. The sound quality, mm, not the greatest, uh, but it's okay. It's not the best pressing. Uh, this one is was also a blind buy. Someone, I don't know, somewhere along the line said, "Put this on your list. It's going to be great." So I bought this. This is the Pharaohs in the basement. This is funk, just pure funk. And it is great. There are one, two, three, four, only five songs in here. They're long, funky jams. Really, really good stuff. Um, this is, and well, you know what, I won't take this out, but the packaging on this is great. It's just beautiful tip on cover. Um, the pressing sounds really good, because I'm sure these tapes are not in the best condition. Um, but yeah, no, this is this I've been playing a lot, a lot. So, yeah, if you see this laying around in the Record Store Day bins, definitely pick it up. Uh, the Pharaohs in the Basement. Really, really cool. Well done. Excellent blind buy. I was absolutely thrilled with that. And my favorite blind buy of probably one of my favorite blind buys. Uh, un unbelievable. I'm getting so many messages. Um, Probably my favorite blind buy of maybe of all record store days. And I don't know why I bought this. I don't know. I just, it, I just got it. And this is Betty Harris, the lost queen of New Orleans soul. And this thing smokes. This is, I'm going to punch somebody. This thing absolutely smokes. Um, it's on green vinyl and the artwork is gorgeous. Um, the recording, the pressing, everything about it is phenomenal. Look at this artwork. Oh, I'm getting a glare. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, but what a great inner sleeve. Uh, the green vinyl is beautiful. Um, <clears throat> you get a little, uh, you get a, um, this is actually the inner sleeve. I've taken the record out. And it's on green vinyl. Uh, beautiful uh, custom label there. Uh, this this thing is definitely my favorite find of record store. Well, close to my favorite find. Uh, they got one more coming up. But what a what a wonderful blind buy this is. Um, I didn't know anything about her. She is wonderful. Her vocals are stunning. And this is Betty Harris. The Lost Queen of New Orleans Soul. Guys, I highly, highly recommend this. If you see it in the Record Store Day bin of leftovers, get it. Absolutely get it. And then you guys, I mean, if you guys saw my Record Store Day video, you know at the end of the video I was checking out and um, my local store had four copies of this. And there's actually still one sitting on the shelf. I cannot believe this has not sold out. He had four copies. Um, this is Dylan's Blonde on Blonde, the Mobile Fidelity box set. Uh, this was just sitting there, and I actually absolutely had to have it. This is Dylan, Rainy Day Woman, Visions of, jo of Joanna, I Want You, Stuck Inside a Mobile, uh, Leopard Skin Pill Box Hat, Just Like a Woman, uh, Absolutely Sweet Marie, Fourth Time Around, um, just probably his best record. Um, absolutely wonderful. I... I am not, I'll be honest, I'm not the biggest Dylan uh, fan. I love, I do love him, like his music. And I think, <clears throat> obviously, lyrically, he's one of the greatest in American history. Uh, I, 
I don't have all his records. I don't play them all. I, you know, I'm not the biggest Dylan. I'm not a Dylan head. Um, but this, I, I had to pick this up. And I'm telling you, I've heard this album many times. And it always kind of just, you know, it, it's fine. This thing pops. The guitar work on this thing is sensational. Absolutely sensational. Uh, everything about this pressing is mind-blowing. How clear and crisp his vocals are. And it, the, the guitar work is what, I, what really, really stuck out to me. Unreal. Absolutely unreal. I have never heard this record sound like this in my entire life. And I'm telling you, I have a couple of Dylan Mofis. I'm going to buy every one. Uh, if they all sound this good, holy crap. This has made me a bigger Dylan fan than I was. And, I mean, I'm not saying I was much of a Dylan fan, but this has blown me away. Absolutely blown me away. And, wow. Uh, just... You always hear about these certain records, you know, that sound great, but then when you hear them like audiophile or, you know, on a MoFi or something like that, it just changes you. I think the Eagles' first album that just came out on the One Step was one of those. It was kind of a flat album for many years, and that pressing, that, that album pops, absolutely pops, and this is the exact same way. This, phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. This has made me a bigger Dylan fan than I was. And I will buy every Dylan MoFi, even though I think they're all out of print now. But I was absolutely thrilled to get that. And um, that has been on my turntable over and over and over for the last couple of weeks. Um, so that's it. Uh, just wanted to do a little kind of a post record store day review because I didn't you know the first video was real quick and I didn't I hadn't listened to anything um but I so I just wanted to man what a great it was a great <laughs> record store day for me I know people don't like record store day I don't care I love it I love going to the shop I love talking to people love meeting people I love buying stuff the prices yeah they are what they are um but yeah, some great blind buys. That Betty Harris and the the Pharaohs, two really really solid records. So um, if you see them in the bins, go grab them. You guys stay safe. Questions, comments, snide remarks in the comment section. I'll talk to you soon.